it's 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 a it's a fun job for Mace because I think she's mm, she's found her new purpose. You know, like it's well, like hey, I'm stuck on Earth, I'm stuck on Earth, and I can't. Um, so I don't know. Um, torture like the demon I am, and. Uh, She's how can I three hunt? Which is essentially what the bounty is like. Big for um, There's an and at the same time, you know, make some cash and pay my rent because I got a flatmate now and <laughs> I'm not living, you know, at least for a week. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting, like, any person who gets, like, a new job that they're, like, really good at, like, she's very proud to be able to, like, bring bad guys in. What's cool, though, is, like, we haven't. It's sort of a way to seed her into more of the, you know, scenes of like Dan and Chloe and Lucifer and like the police, but they haven't. She's not all of a sudden like helping the cops. Do you know what I mean? Like this is for her personally. Like she gets paid. She doesn't really care. The guy's like done a whole thing. She's like, I have fun. I get to hunt human beings. Like it makes me feel like my old self. Well, there's some big repercussions for you know what Lucifer did, and I think for my character, the message she feels like it was a very selfish reveal because it 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 changes the dynamics of our interactions. Do you know what I mean? Like, sure, maybe you can see me like take down a 300 pound guy and go, how in the hell did she do that? But that's way more believable than, oh, you're the devil and you're a demon and you're an angel and you're the mother of all creation. Like, how do we explain that? So I think for Maze, especially considering episode four where the women have bonded and she's really found her tribe. Um, what are you getting at? That she, like, she once again feels like you did something and you, you did not think of anyone else, um, you know, this affecting anyone else. And it does affect Maze and it does affect Linda. And those scenes are like my favorites that I've, that I've filmed this, this season so far, yeah. Because it's... And it's happy. real and raw, and it sort of comes like to like a part of this character that the way that he is a seeker, I mean, like, just vulnerability, so sorry, right? Trixie like, manages to kind of bring that out in her, yeah. like, at the end of you know, like at the end of the trick or treating scene where she's like, okay, you don't think I'm, I'm hideous, you know, because I think Mace thinks she's beautiful in that movie, but you never know what the response is going to be. And I think what's interesting about the last episode too is like both Lucifer and Mace reveal themselves and they got very different reactions. I got accepted by Trixie and he did it. You know, she's like, they're very smart the way that the writers did that. It's gonna, it takes an adjustment and it takes time to sort of like understand her. The idea, I mean, I, I laughed when I read that because I was like, it would be great if there was like, you know, and we had so we had so much fun with those scenes where, you know, I was, I, I was saying to Rachel, like, maybe, and I think we haven't done it this year so far, but like, maybe there's a scene where like, that just sees Maze's face, do you know what I mean? Like, and, um, or she shows her some supernatural things that she's able to do, do you know what I mean? But I think what's what's great about it now moving forward with two characters, like it's a really, like it's a fun friendship, you know? Um, at the end of the day, if you take the supernatural element out of it, it's two friends who had like stuff on their friendship and they're trying, but they care about each other, so they're trying to work through it as best as they can with whatever tools they have, you know? Like and and I think if you're gonna if you're gonna try and like work through something like therapist is probably the best person you can befriend you know, in order to do that. Yeah. Or is there gonna, the gap between Lucifer and May is gonna be bridged anytime soon? It seems like they're just constantly in different places now. Um, for for very good reason. Um, you know, I think. I actually do think that it's the least explored relationship in the show. And my hope is, uh, and, I, and I actually know that they're discussing going into the backstory of Mays and Lucifer, because we have a few seasons now, so there's maybe an opportunity and time to do that. Um, but I think, you know, I've always seen uh, Amazikine as 
someone who no, will we're not pull him anything. out on his shit. Like, she's the friend who will be like, no, dude. Um, but she also, they can never get away from each other. So, in regards to, you know, she's very much wary of her. You know, she's, she has her instincts, like, her little, you know, um, concerns. And, and I think moving forward, you'll, she, you'll see her continue to challenge, like, when she, she feels that he's, that... Um, I think she definitely does want to do it. She is crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, but I, yes, you will see like, them, uh, you know, what is they're amazing Lucifer. They, they can never, like, kind of not be without each other, do you know what I mean? Or can you yeah. master through or is it okay? Or but like any friendship, they'll be challenged. Yeah.